I'm really excited. Eat and eat and eat. Oh, I found him. I like it. Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> A little kiss. Mozzarella sticks. Couldn't stop myself. It's wonderful. Mediocre. Best thing I've had so far. Hey everybody, welcome to a What's the Deal Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. There's lots of cool things to do. There's lots of um, fun, unique uh, foods to try. This is, there's a, um, it's called a festival passport. It's a little booklet all about the Flower and Garden Festival. They do character topiaries all throughout the park and uh, special food. Special food at, at, at uh, these different booths throughout the World Showcase. There's a really cool thing um, that I'm excited about. It's like a little scavenger hunt. It's called Spikes Pollination Exploration. I'm gonna try that. There's some gardens. I don't know what those are about, but we're gonna probably check those out. We're just gonna see what all we can yeah. get around to. Yeah, for Mama, sure. Tell me oh, the plan for look tomorrow. At the yeah, I got cool. merch. Yeah. Flower and Garden Festival merch. We'll we're gonna be back, be back here at Epcot tomorrow. At what time? I don't so we'll, know. We'll get, we'll get stuff but, both days. Yeah, so we're gonna get clips both days. And what we found so far that's the most exciting for Jessica is that there are two chocolate desserts we found at so least. far. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really excited. I love Epcot, I love festivals. Right, let's get started and yeah. show them these okay. There's uh, Luisa, Ooh, to get Mirabelle, so cool. Here's the map for Spikes Pollination Exploration. These are all gardens throughout the World Showcase that, we're look, that we will look for Spike the Bee. And he's gonna be, I guess, on or next to or smelling a different flower. And then on the back, there's stickers. We've gotta match what he's with to the location on the map. And at the end, we get a surprise. How cute is this? So good, so cute. How beautiful is that? There's Scooby. Oh look, avocado. That's what the box says. So it's not just flowers, it's also plants. You said there's some squash? Oh yeah. Or zucchini. Or zucchini or something. Corn. Corn? That's really cool. Oh, peppers. Oh, cool. Peppers. Can you zoom in on the peppers? You see it right here? Yeah. It's right there. You see the peppers Yeah. Okay, Jessica. I'm going to read it to you. You ready? Okay. Wait, okay. Just a minute. Grilled street corn on the cob. Blackened fish slider. Watermelon salad. Okay. Florida strawberry shortcake. Oh my gosh. It's good at some point, but I don't want to start off with that. You don't? Oh, they've got a lot of stuff here. Is this here? No, this or is a different place. Oh, is this? That's the garden graze. So if you purchase any five of those and get stamps, you can bring your passport and you get a surprise at the end. Oh, and look, you don't have to do it at once. We can do it on um, two different times. Okay, that's good. Oh, they've got avocado to toast. Why don't you turn this around and show that? So these are all the things for the garden grace. And guess what's on it? What? Chocolate cake. Where? Um at a different place, but it's one of these uh, items we could get. How many chocolate cake places have you Who knows? Ooh, a pineapple skewer. Cookies and cream chocolate mousse cup. Oh my gosh. I think we should just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. What do you think? Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, okay Jessica, this menu has a uh, quesadilla with squash blossoms, bacon, onion, zucchini, and cheese. Taco Vampiro, beef with the corn tortilla, crispy grilled Monterey Jack, salsa ranchera, and something. This that doesn't look like anything I'd like. Good, though. It I don't good. know. You don't think so? I mean, maybe. I would share it with you if you want to get it, but it seems a little too much for right now. Yeah. Okay, this is the first area I'm looking for Spike the Bee. It's the tropical rainforest. <laughs> Yay! He's with an orchid. We're in Norway. Here's Anna and Elsa, and she's, you know, doing her magic. And look, 
the snowflakes and then all these flowers are white. I just think that's really cute. I've been forgetting to get videos of menus as I go by. So they have potato pancakes. That sounds like a little bit of ham, onions. I'm going to get this potato pancake. It's the one that has caramelized ham, onions, and herb sour cream. And Hannah's going to try the toasted pretzel bread. It has black forest ham and melted kind of cheese. That looks so good. It looks better than what I got. And you know what? It looks like shredded hash browns. So yeah. Jessica's going to try by. Oh, great. Um, thanks. Good girl. What do you think? I like it. Good. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I would love to try a bite. Oh my gosh. That's excellent. Okay. I'm going to try my pretzel bread. I think I'm going to try just taking a bite out of it and see how it goes. Very good. So my pretzel bread is also excellent. It's just a different kind of a vibe than what mom got, but they're both really, really good. I would like recommend both. Too. Yeah, please do. Can I feed you this bite? Mm, tell me about the cheese. It's really good. It's not a gross kind of crumbly, strong cheese. That's really good. Isn't that so good? It's better than this to me. You think so? Mm -hmm. I really like it. The cheese is super creamy. Yeah. And the black forest ham, extra good. Yeah. You can really taste the smoky yeah. part of it. And the pretzel's so soft. Yeah. So, I really enjoyed both out of those two. I personally would definitely prefer the pretzel. Me too. I like the potatoes. I'm glad to have the sustenance of the potato over bread, but the, the pretzel was better. Yeah, it and it, there was a very generous portion of ham, yeah. which is nice. And the ham on my potatoes was like have a flavor. It was just yeah. like little chunk pieces yeah. of ham that didn't really have but a flavor. But this was like... So thumbs anyway, up, double yeah, thumbs double up. thumbs up for both of those things. Well, would definitely no, I was going to say double thumbs up for the pretzel. Okay, and just one thumb up the for, the, for the potato pancakes. So. Yep. Anyway, that's that. So we got this at, I'm going to not pronounce this correctly, but it's the Bauernmarkt uh, Farmer's Market just outside of uh, Germany. All right, I didn't manage to get a clip of the menu. This is a sparkling pineapple wine from the Pineapple Promenade. Ooh, I'm not crazy, but it's like, I can't, it's like really sweet, but also really like, it tastes really strong at the same time. I don't know. It's okay. I wouldn't get it again. All right, we're at the English Tea Garden and I'm looking for another Spike the Bee. You spot him before me, tell me in the comments. I'm gonna have to go down that way. I don't see him anywhere. Have you seen him? Yeah. But I think we'll have to go, go out there and go. Are you all wanting to come through this way? Yeah, Okay, where are you, Spike? Oh, I see him. He's up here. Camellia? Camellia? Awesome. All right, we're here in France, and it's time for another Spike the Bee. I see him already. I'm gonna go Over there. Okay. Is okay. There he is. He is with the roses. Okay, let's go see if this is the spice garden. Oh, it is. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's with Pepper. Cool. That's awesome. Okay, I go on to the spice garden spot. All right, I've got one, two, three, four done, and one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to go. 
Hello. <laughs> We have fun, rain or shine. We're trying this. It's a uh, honey chicken and waffles from from the Honey Bee Stro. Spicy. I don't mind that it's, I don't mind the spicy part of it, but I don't like the flavor of whatever spice it is. Oh, no, do. Okay. It's fun. It has a little kick. <coughs> There's some kind of weird flavor that I don't like. <coughs> a little kick. <coughs> Kind of choked or like oh, breathed okay. in some of the spice. So you like it, okay? I like it, fine. It tastes like honey. I'm at the Honey Bistro Garden. Oh my gosh, Mom, watch out! Ah! Okay. Anyway, Honey Bistro Garden, and I'm looking for spy. Sprag. Oh, I bet he's over there. I see a sign. Y'all think that's Kana or Kana or Kana? Y'all let me know. There he is. We're at Butterfly Landing and I see another spike. Salvia. We're back at the Honey Bistro. Yeah, it's Why? the next day. Uh, because I filmed finding him yesterday, but it was raining, so I didn't get the um, map out and then I couldn't remember. <laughs> Which was which? So it's this one. Yeah, because is it Kana or Kana or? I'm assuming it's Kana. Something. Okay, where am I going to be? Okay, and then that Mom. means the butterfly house was Sal Salvia. Or where did you see that though? We passed by the butterfly house in the rain yesterday. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six to go. This is cool. Hey, will you see how many bees tall I am? Yeah. Am I 140 bees tall? Nope, you're 130 plus. So one thing about the festivals that's cool is it gives all kinds of interesting information, not just here at the Honey Bistro about bees, but everywhere about flowers and plants and um, stuff like that. And these are interactive and you can lift them up and read the answer and explanation underneath. So that's cool. Adorable, so cute. And I don't know if you'll be able to see them on the camera, but unironically, there are actually bees here at the flowers. Oh, there's one. We are trowel and trellis chocolate cake. Looks so pretty. Let's get this ice cream before it melts. You want a bite of ice cream with your first one? Yeah. All right, here we go. What kind of chocolate cake is it? Chocolate cake. Two kinds, right? Mm-hmm. Like what kind? Ooh. Excellent. With the berry stuff on top, so good. You want to bite? Yes. Mm. Isn't that excellent? It really is. That was excellent. I would give that a 10 out of 10. So good. Nothing bad about it. Loved every bite. Definitely would recommend it. I can't stop talking about that chocolate cake. I think it's the best chocolate cake I've ever had. So if you come here during this festival, get it. We're at this place in Mexico and mom's getting this quesadilla. Looks delicious. You don't like it? The edge is so overdone. Like, wow. It's hard to chew. Very hard to chew because, I mean, it must not be fresh. Yeah. Um, I couldn't even cut it with the fork. Mm -hmm. it's, it's boring. Yeah. And not fresh. Yeah, and the tortilla is so thick. Too. And, yeah, that's like all you can taste yeah. is the tortilla. Yeah. I don't care for Wouldn't it. Wouldn't recommend. No. 
How cute is this succulent tower uh, in Mexico? I love it. If you know all the dwarves' names, comment down below what order they were in. Because I don't, <laughs> I mean, I could name them all probably, but I don't know which one's which. Except that one might be sleepy. Oh no, that one, no, that one's sneezy. I don't know. Anyway, tell me in the comments. From this way down to the original, the original way that I went. And there's one more over there. Garden Italiano. <laughs> we spotted it just before I turned the camera on. So there he is, and he's with a tomato. We're in Italy. I'm gonna get the ravioli and probably a sangria. Last time we were here, one of the last few times I was here, I got the white sangria and it wasn't as good as usual, but it might have just been like sitting out all day or something, so we'll see. So what I did want was some um, ravioli that was like kind of like fried ravioli with mozzarella inside, uh, but they don't have that today, but guess what they did have? What? Mozzarella sticks. Oh, good. You uh, want to try one? Sure. Okay. I'm going to hold it because it's got a little bit of tomato sauce on it, okay? Alright. How is it? Good. Does that make you happy? Yes, ma'am. Can you believe? I found mozzarella sticks. Cheese sticks? Yeah. You want another bite? Sure. I'm going to keep eating them. Okay. Getting some food. How about that? What a pleasant surprise. Yeah. That was when she said, she said, oh, we don't have that today, but we have mozzarella sticks. I said, well, I've got to get some then. I thought those were really, really good, really well seasoned. The perfect temperature texture. I really, really liked them. It was so good, I just couldn't stop myself. Anyway, excellent. Definitely would recommend. Now I'm going to try this. We're going to Hollywood Studios. Nice. Really good. I was saying to the camera that one of the recent times we came either in January or when we came last fall sometime, I got the sangria and it wasn't as good as usual, but this one is delicious. So what's in it? A sangria. It's a white sangria. I mean, so it's wine and something. I don't know. You think it's got orange juice in it? Maybe. But it's, it's really good. It's like, I, I can taste peach. Okay. You want to try it? Yes. It's really good. Isn't that really good? It's a really nice balance. Yes, I totally agree. Very balanced. How do we see test track when we leave? We'll walk past it. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. You're welcome. So I would definitely recommend this too. But. All right, we're in America, and here's Magnolia Terrace. And I see it already. Hey. And I can't imagine which flower it's going to be. Oh. Hey, look, Tiana's in there yeah. this year. Oh, yeah. Is she? Mm -hmm. Tiana is a brand new topiary this year. She looks awesome. Love it. All right, and then here's. Well, here's the sign. Where's 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 Spike? Um, if you see him before me, <laughs> leave me a comment. I don't see him. Am I missing it severely? Y'all. Yeah. Do you see Spike? Spike. Well, the sign's here, but I don't see. Oh, is he way back there? Okay, hang on. There he is. All right, we're in Japan. I assume the garden's back here. It's called uh, Kokodama. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, please tell me. <laughs> um, I assume the garden is back here somewhere. So let's check it out. Oh, here it is. Yes. Hold on, Dad. Do you see him before me? Let me know in the comments. Ah, there he is. He's with the iris. 
um, Japan is such a peaceful place to be. I love the music here and it's such a cute little cool like unique um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Anyway, I really like Japan. <laughs> right, here we go. Left-handed. All right. Got three to go and I'm pretty sure those three, those last three must be in the front of the park and not in the countries. But we can keep looking. The video wasn't on. Ha 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 ha. We're here at La Isla Fresca. Mom tried it. She said it's delicious. It's wonderful. Make sure I'm not getting burned. You're not. Okay, I would like a bite. You want to buy this cake? Yeah. What do you think? It tastes okay. Yeah. All right. Ooh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank wow, that's delicious. Nice. Here. Coconut trust It's very good. It's refreshing. It's yes. not. It's not chilled or anything. Which no. I would like it chilled, but yeah. It's really light. Very moist. Yeah. The coconut toasted just right. I hopefully you get some more chocolate cake. Yes, ma'am. Would recommend for sure. All right, next is Fleur de Lis. I'm gonna get uh, this. One thing about this France um, food booth thing is that it is always, it always has a decently long line, usually longer than it is right now. It's kind of like a donut, I think. Here I go. It's okay. Mediocre. It's like a mediocre donut. Yeah. I hear test track. Jessica, you want to try a bite? Okay. It's like a donut. Ready? Yes. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it like a donut? Mm-hmm. You like donuts better or not? I like this better. Oh, good. I don't. I like donuts better. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See what I mean? It's, a, it's, it's fine. It's okay. I wouldn't get it again. No. Okay, I forgot uh, to film well, the menu at Canada, but I got the um, beef tenderloin. I'm really excited about it. Okay. Here I go. Oh, good. Oh, man. Excellent. Is that the best 10. thing you've had? Worth waiting for. Best thing I've had so far. Good. Yeah. You want a bite? Yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> I like it, but not as good as you do. Well, that's just fine. More for me. Have at it. Thanks. We're trying the cake. Go for it. She can She can have the first bite. It's really good. It's rich and it's sweeter than that one. That's really good. I agree. I like the other one better. The texture. And the taste and everything. This is just uh, but it's more fine. sweet than anything. Yeah. All right, Mom got some kind of tempura, temp, temper, tempura shrimp. I can't talk this evening. That and lemon meringue pie. And I got the orange uh, wine slushy and the baked brie. Delicious. Really good. Mm -hmm. Is Jessica gonna try a bite? You wanna try a bite? No sauce for me, bro. Just try it. What do you think? I like it. Good. I'm proud of you for trying it. I've never had brie before. It's fun. It's a strong orange flavor, which is fun, but you can't really taste the brie. But it's, it's okay. It's fine. Let's try your slush. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. It's like, it's like liquid candy. But strong orange flavor? Yeah. Yeah. You'll have to taste it. I mean, I, I can't even tell there's alcohol in it. It's the sweetest thing I've had so far. Very happy. Oh, yum. You like it? It's like a creamsicle. Is it? Yes. And I do taste alcohol in it. Huh. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about this. It's very, very crunchy. 
and it's got this orange sauce on it, but it's very mild, the sauce. So when you eat it, you still get a crunch, you get a little bit of the sweet, taste a little bit of the shrimp. It's a great combo. All right. I talked Jessica into trying the lemon meringue pie. We never got the chocolate mousse thing. We didn't, we'll have to, here, get that on our next trip. We did. Having a some? No, thanks. What do you think, Jessica? I like it. A little bit <laughs> or a lot? A lot. Oh, good. Mom, I've been drinking a lot of water today. At first, I didn't think it was going to be good, but it just took a minute. It's got a great lemon flavor. It doesn't taste extremely <laughs> lemony until you start chewing it. Interesting. When you first put it in, I guess it's the meringue. It's not a strong flavor, and maybe the, the crust isn't either. So you have to chew past that, and then you get the really good lemon flavor. Okay, we're at the World Discovery Playground. Hey! I can't read what it says, but I can match it to the, to the thing. There he is. Okay. It's the Donald and Daisy topiaries, and there's one over here. Let's see. It's harder in the dark, for sure. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a Daisy. And very nearby, it's the prehistoric plants, and look how cute. There's dinosaurs. Oh, look. Look at the fossil. Oh, cool. This is cute. This is cute. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see him over there. Yay. My very last sticker. Ta-da. Way to go, Hannah. Thanks. Let's go see what prize I get. Okay. Okay, so I went to redeem this, but this shop is evacuating. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, the lady I talked to doesn't know why, so it's going to remain a mystery. Um, I really did enjoy this, uh, whatever the prize is or was, and it doesn't really matter. I had a really fun time doing it. Um, I did really enjoy it. It was super fun. Um, I would do it again. One thing I will say is it was really easy. Um, they had something similar during the Food and Wine Festival that was a lot more challenging and I probably enjoyed that more, but I still had fun with this um, and it was $9.99. So I would recommend, it was fun, especially if you've got kids. Um, it, was, it was pretty easy, so easy enough for kids to do for sure. So. That's that on on this.